from Westpac. If you've ever been shopping for a new TV cabinet or storage unit, you've probably realised that most of the offerings are pretty much the same. Assembly line stuff, lots of black imitation wood grain, and while they certainly do the job, it's hardly an individual look. But there are people out there creating stylish individual designs, one-off pieces that offer an affordable alternative to all those mass-produced units. <laughs> At first glance, the work of Sydney-based artist Wayne Hutchins could be straight from the floor of an exclusive design showroom, with one noticeable exception, the hefty price tag. So what I'm trying to do is trying to make artworks to varying degrees that people have around in ordinary houses and ordinary day-to-day -day use, something that you're not intimidated by, mm. something that you can stick your TV on, you can whack your video in, whatever. But also, I'm very interested in making sure that it actually works. Every piece has to be functional. To be functional doesn't mean it can't also be exciting and a bit wacky, a bit zany. You don't need to spend a lot of money to still get the quality and the creativity. To keep the costs down, Wayne uses lots of craft wood, which is relatively cheap, easy to work and very strong. He gives it more visual appeal by using different painted finishes like marbling, sponging and speckling. It's good stuff to paint, you've just got to remember to seal it properly and then give it several good layers, nice consistent finish all the way up to the final clear lacquer and you should get a good product. Wayne often creates spontaneous designs that more or less take shape as he goes along. When he's asked to create a special piece for a house, he likes to take a theme from the surroundings and integrate it into his work. The results are usually unique and very interesting. Because each piece is an original, the price will depend on the time and materials required to create it. Well, that's about all we have on our house tomorrow.